everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you. And we're so glad that you're here. <laughs> and uh, we just pray that you guys are blessed by uh, what the Lord has to share today. And um, as usual, we'd like to just give a huge thank you to everyone who continues to support us. We appreciate all yes. of you. Mm -hmm. And um, if you would like to give to us, you can. Uh, we are support-based, so mm -hmm. uh, we have a PayPal link below, and you can just click that. Yep. So, so many times I feel like one of those radio stations, uh -huh. you know, like at the end of every month, they have that pledge drive, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, instead of like, so instead of us having a pledge drive at the end of the month, we just drop a little, you know, church announcement at the beginning of our video. Yeah. We move on. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're actually going to kind of continuing, um, continue to talk about relationship because you know yesterday in our video it's been a hot topic let me tell you <laughs> a hot yes. one um sizzling hot off the press for real <laughs> like but, <laughs> how long we've we been doing this video now no, <laughs> <laughs> but um but yesterday we were talking about the relationship ring and um and so today Hope that picture came out okay yeah it was probably kind of dark but was, whatever yeah because they light because oh. I drew it light but you're like it's kind of dark well the lighting when I took the yeah. picture was just like it oh was well. dark when you took the picture but the pa the this ring itself was kind of light oh, light. oh with especially yellow. when you held it up like yeah. this oh yeah it was impossible to see so anyway <laughs> so back to the video yeah. <laughs> we wanted to um, I wanted to just share some pictures that God has given us um, mm -hmm. one was from yesterday or the other day and then um, from today even um, okay. this morning's God time and um, one of the pictures that we um, were just kind of pictures or just ideas that the Lord sometimes he can give you to just help to um, bring clarity to what he's saying mm -hmm. and it just kind of gives you a good idea kind of like a parable it was like a picture to explain um, things that were done in the you know in heaven it's like oh the kingdom of God is like and you know yeah. in the blank yeah and so one of the <laughs> pictures was um, just this idea that you know, with the Lord, when you come into relationship with the Lord, a lot of times it can, it's like, imagine like an invisible mansion, like oh, huge, huge mansion, that's right. but it's invisible. You can't see it. And, um, when you come to know the Lord, it's like, you know, you get introduced, um, to the Lord. It's like the door, you can now see the door. And then when you open your heart and your life to the Lord, the door it opens and you come into you know you just step in and you're in the entryway and you start to mm -hmm. see this house that you never knew was there before mm -hmm. and but the but the thing was it's like with this mansion it's like you don't realize that it's a mansion you know all you seen is the door and the entryway and then maybe as you get to know the lord and you continue to you know open your heart up to him be honest with him build trust right you right. start to see more of this house you know maybe it opens up and you start to see oh here's this living room and this kitchen and mm -hmm. you know and it's like wow this is amazing and it's got two kitchens yeah <laughs> one in the basement know. and one in, wow yeah <laughs> <laughs> and and so just the idea is that as we like open our hearts up to the lord mm -hmm. we just see more and more of this mansion that he has for us and the mansion can just represent like just the life that he has for us mm -hmm. the dreams and visions he has um and yeah, in relationship store, yeah, that and, you have with him, yeah but if you come into the house and you know maybe you get into the you know you're standing in the whatever that's called the foyer the you know right depends when you get, on what part of the planet you're from you know if you're from <laughs> down south it's called a vestibule Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're from, you know, you're from uh, certain parts, it's just, it's the, it's the opening. It's the entryway. Yeah. You know, from other, from other areas, you know, it's the, it's the lounge. You know, it depends on where you're coming from. Yeah. You know, or that, the mud room. The mud room. <laughs> well, that's off the garage that's entrance. True. That's you true. see, you see, get your rooms right, woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, but you know you come in and maybe you do you you start to see like the living room and maybe yeah. even the kitchen but then it's like maybe for whatever reason you're just you're you're good there 
-hmm. You're just like, all right, I'm good. I'm good standing here. You're good there in the foyer? Yeah. (laughs) I had to throw another one in there. (laughs) And and you just, you know, but maybe your heart itself is like, okay, this is as far as this relationship. Like, Mm. your relationship with the Lord is being allowed to go. It's like, you know, there actually is a whole mansion he wants you to discover, but if your heart isn't open, if you're not... There's no pursuit in the relationship with the Lord, then you're just you're gonna be standing in the foyer, or you're going to maybe you do have the living room open, but that's all you know, and and the Lord is like I He wants you to see all of it. He wants to see you to see the fullness of everything that He has for you, and yeah. and so um, there is just that picture that's like yeah. So within the relationship with the Lord. It's like continue to just come to him, continue to allow him to just reveal to you all of these places in your heart is like, hey, let me open this up. Let me let you see what I have for you in this area of your life. You know, we haven't talked about this, but let's see what's there. And and he just opens all these rooms. and, And then when we step back and you just look and it's like, whoa, he's given me this mansion and it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. And like wow like above and beyond anything that we could ask or imagine yeah. and and it's like and so i just really love that picture because i think it's so great because you really can't see it until the lord reveals it and the lord yeah. reveals it through relationship yeah and so it's like as we just press into the relationship god just going to keep revealing more and more well, I think like the gist of this whole video really mm-hmm. is like allowing the Lord to work in your life. Mm-hmm. Because as you open your heart, I'm looking at our little lit thing, our little picture on the wall there. Yeah. As you open your heart and you're honest and you get stuff out, well, then that allows the Lord to come in and decorate those areas of your heart the way he wants to. And now you can see more of his heart. Mm-hmm. And the more you do that, the more you see, the more you trust, the more you see, the more, you, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Even if you're blind, you'll be able to see better if you yeah. just trust the Lord, mm-hmm. you know? And so do you want me to share the ones I got? Yeah. Okay. And so one of the, the, this morning I got this vision and I was, well, we were listening to this one song and I'm looking at all these people and I'm like, man, you know, on YouTube, and it was a big crowd of people. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, during this worship service, maybe I should get all my stuff together and then say my thing. But anyway, <laughs> uh, but I'm looking at all these people and I'm going like, man, that is a lot of people, Lord. But it's like, they all have different relationships with you and all that. And it's just like, like you really don't know any of their stories until you get to know them. But mm-hmm. it's just like, why is it that, so out of that came this question like, why is it that some people have such a small relationship with you, even if it seems big, really, to you and between you and them, it's just really very small. But then you have these other people that have these amazing relationships. And even that, on the on, the, on a vice versa situation, it may look like they don't. But it's mm-hmm. just like, you know, to, to forget about what it looks like, but it's just like there's some people that have these great relationships and others that don't. Well, the Lord showed me this whole pottery the, this potter on the, 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 the wheel that the mm-hmm. potters use and he was showing like how his hands get in there and shape you know as the thing is spinning and he's like some people you know I, I get the shape going and I'm getting things going and I'm trying to smooth things out over here and smooth things out over here but at, at, in the process of smoothing things out just imagine that sometimes those smoothing of the things out it hurts Mm-hmm. And so imagine that clay being alive. And if they feel that pain, they shy away. Mm-hmm. Instead of letting me smooth it away and, and, and get the pain through, just just work it through, work it out, kind of like a masseuse. Mm-hmm. You know, you gotta, you gotta lay there on the table and let them, he's like, ah. It's like, what are you doing? You're trying to kill me. No, I'm trying to help you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to smooth some things out for you. Isn't that why you came to me? Because mm-hmm. I can do this for you so you don't have these constant issues. Mm-hmm. And so and the Lord was like, some people, they don't let me do that. Mm-hmm. Some people do. And he was so, he was, so he was forming this container. And the more he worked 
on the container. Mm -hmm. This kind of fits into your vision mm -hmm. here. The, the parab this is a parabolic video here. <laughs> uh, the more he worked, the bigger the container got mm -hmm. and the more of himself he could pour in, mm -hmm. you know? And so then we got this idea, right? Of here, here's a here's an empty water bottle, right? And um, Kirkland, thank you, two ninety nine. You can get forty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Little commercial. <laughs> I'm just so I was showing my kids this, and and so um, it's an empty water bottle. It's an empty vessel, right? And what we want to do is fill it. Now this is the ideal shape. This is how they they sell it. This is the the fullness. Let's say this is the fullness of your life, right? Mm -hmm. But let's just say right now. <laughs> yes, that's loud. <laughs> Right now, this is who you are, and let's just say this is a person, and the Lord wants to get out all, look at all that work he's got to do, all them crinkles, but it's just like, no, Lord, I don't like it. Every time you crinkle me and move me, it hurts too much. Can you just fill me? All right, I'll fill you. Here, can you, can you mm -hmm. hold the vessel? Mm -hmm. We're going to fill the vessel with some water. Ooh, look at that. Look at the Spirit of God just going in there. Ooh, God, he's filling it up. He's filling up. As much as he can, and now I was like, "All right, here we go." I was like, right. "Is that is that person full of the Spirit of God?" Or like, easy answer: Yes, they are. You know, is 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 this bottle full? Is it is it got as much in it as it possibly can? You might be able to get a feet a little bit more on the top there, but when you blow it up, that's how much is left in there. Just that much. Oh, they can see it. Mm -hmm. They can see it. <laughs> this is not like the white paper from yesterday. Right. You know? You know, when you... So it's like you you thought you had the fullness of the Lord. But when you allow him to expand you, because that's literally what I ended up doing with mm -hmm. this bottle. I expanded the relationship. I expanded the capacity that this thing could hold. And in its previous state, this was all it was holding. Mm -hmm. That's it. You can look at it. When you looked at it in its current state, yes, it was full. But as as the Lord, so it's like as the Lord expands us, you know, we are we are expanding our capacity to receive more of him. We do not want to settle with less than a quarter mm -hmm. of what he has for us calling a calling our lives a full life. Yeah. You know? Mhm. Mm yeah. So that was a that was a little object lesson we gave in God time this morning, and our kids were like, "Whoa." Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't want to do that because <laughs> it did look full. It did. But it was just like, well, this is what happens. It's like, let me encourage you. Let the Lord work in your life. Let him smooth things out. And I gave very specific examples that were specific to our family, mm -hmm. but it's like we all have those specific examples of like, you know what, Lord, I do. There's this thing that I know you want to work on. I'm just going to let you work on it. I'm going to mm -hmm. let you do it. I'm mm -hmm. going to let it come out. I'm afraid that it's going to be so ugly when it comes out. And because of that fear of the ugliness, that's why I haven't let it come out. Mm -hmm. It's like, but I'm going to do that now. Because mm -hmm. I'm just, I, I don't, I don't, I want all of your spirit. I want your spirit without measure. Yeah. You know, so just, l Lord, let your way be done. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes the Lord will just come in and be like, so. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so are you sure about that? Oh, this yeah. feels like toothpaste. Squeeze. Yeah. And this stuff just starts coming out anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not speaking from personal experience just before this video started. No. Yeah. Not. Yeah. Not no, well, and that's and that really has been our morning. It's been it was, our morning. It's so funny because <sighs> should have known, but we've been seeing a lot of triple of fours, and for many of you who for days. know, um, we've been and nothing's happened. Yeah, we usually <laughs> see triple fours, and that usually means that there's an exposure that's going to happen. But we've uh -huh. been seeing them, and nothing's really come from it. And I was like, wow, maybe maybe there's something different that the Lord's doing. And of course, I had to say that this morning because then. <laughs> The, the afternoon, right after it was just like, was like oh, like, wow, squeeze. huge, huge exposure <laughs> moment. And it was like, ah, oh, I had to say paste all over the hands. Yeah. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and, and really, again, for, um, for me personally, it was just, again, the place of my heart where God's just like, hey, I'm trying to form and fashion something. I'm trying to expand you. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> and so, again, it's just working through all of those things, really yeah. changing um, even how I'm seeing things. Um, so, so what did you do? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You opened your heart. (laughs) Yeah. You were humble and honest with what was going on. Mm -hmm. And has it produced more trust? Yeah. Is it between you and the Lord? Yeah. Between you and me? Yeah. So it's just like... Was Was it an ugly process? It actually wasn't as ugly as I thought it would have been. Thank you. I didn't want to lead. I didn't want to influence that. But thank you. Yes. It really wasn't. It wasn't. It Everything wasn't. that your fears were mm-hmm. telling you didn't even happen, did it? No. Nope. No. But Oh, you guys want to know the whole story, don't you? <laughs> Sorry. Continuing on. But, but yeah, and so I just feel like that the Lord, though, wants to... He's really been hitting a lot with this relationship. and. Yes, the, it's been a hot time. Like, been. throughout this whole week, really. Um, and I think that it's important just even <laughs> as, you know, as the birth of the promises are coming mm, and, mm-hmm. and all of that, to really just know, like, the Lord is talking. He's expanding. And I think even yeah. with the expansion through the fulfillment of promises, though, it's going to, it's it's going to be shaping. He's going to be well, it's shaping gonna test our hearts. Us. It's going to be a testing. It's going to be some testing. Yeah. Yeah, I just said that <laughs> because we're about to go into week 40, mm. the final week. I'm just like, well, what's that going to be? Well, it's going to test. So that means we're about to get blessed with yeah. a test, and the test is going to bless. The blessing is going to be a testing. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> but just knowing, like, the Lord, he's he is shaping. And so, and I think it's really important because the Lord really wants the the promises fulfilled to shape our heart in a certain way we were yeah. talking about how yeah. you know when um the waters um in ezekiel 47 it talks about the the, the river, river the double river flows into the dead sea and mm-hmm. um it just it floods everything but it makes it fresh mm-hmm. but then there was those salty marshes that even after the, the water receded yeah. it was still encrusted Mm -hmm. And that's what the Lord's like. He doesn't want that to happen with our own heart. When when he comes crashing in, allow him to make those adjustments, make just bring things down for our, for us and really just shape our hearts mm-hmm. in an expanded way yeah. because that's really what he's doing god is with the fulfillment of the promises he is shaping and expanding our hearts so that he can pour his spirit in mm-hmm. and it's gonna and we want to be have the fullness of the spirit of god that he's going to pour out you know, um, yeah. and to be ready for that. And like this whole year, like we've said before, it is a preparation process. And so... It's the oil and spices yes. and making that, that plumbing pipe just yeah. nice and just coated. Ready. With, just ready for just whatever comes out of you is the pure word of God. Yeah. And it's not tainted by those little cracks and tears and bumps and things in the, that make it not taste great. It's yeah. got your own issues in it. Mm -hmm. basically and so i feel like even as we're coming into these final three months i really Mm -hmm. believe that's why god is is kind of highlighting this um idea of relationship and being open to him and because when he comes in i believe there he is going to be shaping our hearts and so it's important Mm -hmm. for us even in the transition because you know even really amazing great things can they affect your heart in positive ways but it can be scary you're going into something Mm -hmm. new it's like oh and it can actually cause other things to pop up that you didn't expect and so even you can be really 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 excited and and then ignore things that you yeah. might not have ignored before you know so it's really important to just stay close to the lord during this time but allow him to shape your heart allow mm-hmm. him to just do all the things that need to be done yeah. and and so that when he the time comes it, and he's going to pour out his spirit mm-hmm. and and we want to be able to receive the full measure of it we want yeah. we don't want to be the water bottles that are crinkled up and he pours in his Saying, spirit. Saying, yes, I got the full measure. Look at me. I got the full measure. Yes, but we're seeing something that maybe you're not picking up on. Yeah. <laughs> the Lord needs the blow. Mm, come on. Someone needs that. A little blowing of the wind of the spirit mm-hmm. to expand you. And mm-hmm. then you will see like, wow, I was not what I thought I was. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> but then the Lord can come in and then he can fill you to the fullness. Mm-hmm. And so... um 
Yeah, so that's really what we yeah. had to share with you guys today. I pray that you are blessed, and I pray that we would just receive the fullness mm -hmm. of the Lord and all, all the splendor that He wants to pour upon mm -hmm. our lives and that we would be vessels that are willing mm -hmm. to be shaped by the Lord. Let Him blow. And, um, yeah, <laughs> just let Him come Let, let in. the hands work, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> and let us be people that are seeking the Lord and, and we get to see the fullness of the mansion that He has yeah. for our lives. Yes. Um, so, yeah, so that's what we have for today. Yep. Um, and we will see you again tomorrow. Wait. Oh. Something else I wanted to say really quick. That that everything that, that we've been going through like for the like, past couple hours before we did this video, mm -hmm. that was a battle. Mm -hmm. And like the Lord said at the beginning of this 21 days, the battle belongs to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when you allow him to work, you're allowing him, you're allowing that battle to be his. Yeah. You know, there's battles that I have with myself as a father and as a husband all the time. And I'm just like, Lord, it's yours. Mm -hmm. I can't win it. I can't do anything about it. Um, I got issues. <laughs> and those issues create issues. Mm -hmm. what, what, I, I would like for those to be taken care of, please. Like I'm, like I'm a uh, waiter. Uh, this issue and this issue. <laughs> yeah. Can you take care of it, please? I wish that. Would Come be on, amazing. what's uh, I ordered that like seven years ago. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, but you gotta let that battle mm -hmm. that you face within the battle between the flesh and the spirit. Mm -hmm. The battle belongs to the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know. So I just wanted to say that as like a little addendum, yes. courage, encouragement. What's a what's a lavore video without an addendum? Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes. So. Um, <laughs> I loved that though. So good. And yeah. Um, yeah, so the battle does belong to the Lord and he is just making us ready to receive the fullness. He wants us to receive a hundredfold of the spirit that he's going to be pouring yeah. out. And, and it just comes to having an open heart, continuing to be humble before mm -hmm. him and building that trust with the Lord. And so until tomorrow, we will see you guys later. Yep. Love you guys. Bye. Bye-bye.